Ciao popolo dei Ganerd, siamo a Luca Comics and Games per questa specialissima edizione dei 50 anni. Ho con me un ospite veramente molto importante, sono super onorata. Abbiamo Charlie Adler, disegnatore di The Walking Dead, e lo stiamo per intervistare proprio adesso. Restate con noi. 42. What is for you Walking Dead? The Walking Dead? And do you think that The Walking Dead changed your life? Oh. Quite considerably, <laughs> yes. Um, um, 12 years ago, I was a journeyman jobbing artist, and now I'm, you know, quite, quite popular. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, of course, it's changed my life. Um, uh, professionally, it hasn't changed my life personally, and I still live in the same house, same town. I go to work at the same, do the same hours, things like that, I, as I did. 12 years ago, but um, everything else obviously is just yeah, completely different. And uh, your favorite character in The Walking Dead? Um, oh, it has to be. I, it has to, I, I used to say, I used to say it was uh, either Andrea or Michonne, and I oh, still love I Andrea love and Michonne. Michonne. But old Negan's come in there like a you know, a bullet and. Um. Uh, Perhaps knock, them, perhaps knock them off the top spot, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I think that people now hate Negan, but... Um, They'll grow to love him. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, he is your um, favorite villain or maybe another? No, oh, no, Negan, absolutely. Mm. I mean, yes, when Negan first appeared in the comic, he, he was hateful because of obviously what he does to Glenn, but... He's managed to sort of bring everybody around after issue 100. Another 50 issues later, he's kind of got people back on his side. And, and like I say, if you, if you read the, the short story we're doing in Image Plus as well, uh, uh, his Negan story, um, we really give him some real sympathetic reasons as to why he's, uh, he does what he does and how he's become the man he is. And, uh, All this stuff sort of leads him to be the most complex character in the book. Um, how did you feel when um, Robert Kirkman told you um, you help to kill uh, um, Glenn and Abram? Okay, Charlie, you have to kill us. Uh... <laughs> well, actually, the biggest shock was Abraham because he literally didn't tell me he was going to do that. Um, and, and on page three of, a, of, of the comic, it wasn't at the beginning or, or a big cliffhanger at the end. It was page three. Um, but Robert himself told me afterwards, he said, I didn't, he didn't even realize that he was going to kill Abraham until he started writing that issue. So, um, so I just remember thinking, what the? What? What the what? What? Like this. And, and, oh. It's a shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Glenn, obviously we talked about it beforehand and he told me that this is what was going to happen and we we're going to kill the nicest guy in the comic, etc, etc. So by the time obviously I came to read it, it was like, oh, here we go. This is, this is what's happening. <laughs> And how did you feel when uh, um, you seen uh, this scene uh, in, uh, in the series? Because uh, you seen the uh, series? I actually haven't seen it. I've heard. Really? I've heard. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, no. I'm a bit slow <laughs> in, in, in watching the show. I've only just finished season five. Because uh, to be honest, this is no disrespect to the, the TV uh, show know, at all. I know. But it does, yeah. from my point of view, it does feel a bit like doing homework. Uh, I prefer the comics. Oh, thank you. But, so yeah. <laughs> but, um, um, but yeah, so... Okay, no, yeah. another series, so you like... Uh, oh, you mean show? Fear yeah. the Walking Dead or... Oh, uh, Fear the Walking yeah. Dead or, um, I don't know, True Detective... Um. Oh, I see, well, I, you, I, no, I, I watched the first season of True Detective, funnily enough, uh, I really enjoyed that. Um, no, I watch a lot of, well... Uh, Because I'm, I'm a serious addicted, I oh, okay. watch a lot of I mean, the series. Uh, I've watched the fairly obvious stuff, the great, yeah, mm -hmm. obviously I, I completely loved Breaking Bad. Um, I love Game of Thrones, my, yeah. my wife loves that one as well, so we watched that one together. I'm, I'm really enjoying Daredevil, uh, really enjoying that, just finished season two of that. I really love House of Cards, 
Uh, oh, yeah, enjoying yeah, music uh, cards. Kevin Spacey is uh, oh, it's the best. <laughs> and obviously enjoying um, Better Call Saul as well. Mm -hmm. uh, just got Netflix finally, so um, going to watch season two of that soon. Um, and Outcast? I've only seen the pilot. Yeah. Um, I saw that at a show in Greece earlier this mm -hmm. year. They they previewed it there, and I was a guest, so they sort of invited me to watch that. And it looks. It looks great. Outcast is interesting though because it was sold as a TV show right at the beginning, so everything Paul Azaketa has drawn, you kind of think, yes, all this is kind of looks, almost looks like it should be a TV show because it's going to be a TV <laughs> show. So it, it's, it's got a sort of a different gestation to The Walking Dead where we were just doing whatever the hell we wanted to do uh, and then it becomes a TV show, whereas this almost had a reverse sort of thing and uh, I think it, you got the idea they're consciously doing the visuals in the way that they can tell a, a, a TV. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, my pleasure. <laughs> All right, thank you.